Hi, uh, Mark sent me some pictures of a hamburger press he made, so we're going to try that today. Um, I'm going to make it out of maple and put a redwood handle on it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I just went to the hardware store and picked up an ABS cap. Um, it was a little bit thicker. Um, I went ahead and, and sanded it down. I didn't want it quite so thick, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and true this up and then ho uh, hollow it out so we can insert this into it. Alright, and I just have it glued on so we can hold, hold it up. Alright, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. Alright, All right. now that I have it trued up, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, come around and hollow it out. All right. All right, there we go. It's down just a little bit, but we're going to round this over and it'll, it'll come out perfect. I hope. Okay, let's just go ahead and sand it up. Alright, just finishing up with uh, 600 and I'll We'll go ahead and part it off and spin it around and finish the bottom. Alright, let's go ahead and part it off and spin it around. this over it doesn't matter the inside of that so you can just use the 
the chuck to hold it. Look at that. And we can clean the bottom up. Clean the bottom up. And just there's no fingernail gouge. Just gonna put a little bit of detail on it. There we go. I'll go ahead and sand it up. Just uh, just finishing up with the 600. Go ahead and uh, turn the top. All right, I uh, went ahead and just glued glued the lid on and trued it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the the diameter here. I'll we'll just go ahead and bring that down. We'll just go ahead and uh, bring that down to this inside. I'm going to clean up the face of it here, and we're going to put a a little handle on it here, so we don't need to uh, get rid of that little divot there. But I do want to round this over. Clean that up. All right. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, sand it up now. Have it all all send it up let's just go ahead and part it off all right 
Now I'm just going to uh, recess this just a little bit and use it as a jam chuck or use this waste block as a jam chuck to finish up the bottom here. Alright, I have it in the, the chuck here. We'll just go ahead and clean it up. Alright, okay, then we'll just go ahead and sand that up. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and drill down into it a little bit, and then uh, we're going to turn a handle for it. Alright, uh, I just got a piece of redwood. I'm going to go ahead and true it up, and we'll make the handle. but Just back cut it just a little bit so it sits nice and flat. Just gonna bring it down to right there right now and sand it up. And then we'll bring that tenon down to fit the other one here in a sec. I'll sand it up, buff it up a little bit, and I didn't go all the way through, I just went about halfway down, so, right there, alright, let's go ahead and bring that down. There we go. Went ahead and just uh, trimmed it down, put a spot of glue on it, and then it just fits right in, right inside there. 
All right, there we go. Um, I'll put some detailed pictures up on Facebook and, and uh, up at the end of the video. But thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.